All right, everybody. This is BJ from the 478. I greatly appreciate you tuning into my channel. And today I want to talk to you about my brand new 2021 ZX10RR. Let's check it out. So on this bike, um, I went ahead and took it apart. It's got like 62 miles on it. But what I'm putting on here is a full graze titanium work exhaust and I just couldn't wait, man. So what I'm doing now is I'm going ahead and add this sequential uh, tail lights. It's got the turn signals and all that good stuff built in all in one. Um, and the titanium headers, my graves looks the part. They already came assembled. So that's pretty good right there. They already got springed up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the the headers off right now and um, go ahead and install that tonight. Um, and also, Brenton, um, I got a tune for it, stage one and two. So um, once I get everything put back together, I'm gonna go ahead and um, program uh, the Brenton on here and we're gonna see what it does. Now, what I am gonna do, I went ahead and, you know, when you buy Brentum, um, you get, you have to buy stage one first and stage one comes with this handheld. So once you get this, then you can add stage two. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install stage one on first, ride it, and then I'll do a comparison just to see, is it a big, big difference with stage two? We shall see. So I'm gonna do that. Um, also, I got the best of the best. I went ahead and got a Sprint air filter. Um, they was out of stock on the on the higher end one. It's all black. I can't remember the part number, but it, this is the part number for this one. And this 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 filter is a hundred something dollars, and um, they have one that's like two two and some change. And I wanted to see the difference. So what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and got this one since they had this one in stock at many. Uh, at Moto Millions, um, Manny went ahead and sent this one out. So I did get this in time enough to, once I got it broke down, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and install everything at one time. So I'm gonna go ahead now and truth be told people, I did not shoot a video on how to take this motorcycle apart because it looked like it was much of nothing to do. So I got ready to shoot a video and I'm like, yeah, yeah, jamming on it. And then it's just like, okay. The, the Ferrans have these integrated winglets on here. So in order to take those off, it's like hitting screws up in here to where you gotta um, move this out of the way and then you turn around. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a, it's a Phillips that goes here and it comes out here and it attaches to that. So all while I'm tugging on this thing, just thinking it's push-in pins after I got the, all the bolts out of, you know, it bolting up to the, the mid fairing and I couldn't get the front end off. So I'm like, well, what I got going on? So I just looked into it deeper, took me a breath, went in there, made me a big sandwich and turned around and put my thinking cap on. I came back out because all the videos I've seen, I've never seen anybody just, hey, look, it's a bolt here, but this is a bolt right here, and it's a Phillips head, and it comes out on this side. And later on in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how they attach back on once I start putting everything back on. And I didn't feel necessary to, to show you a video of me taking apart a motorcycle I never took apart before. And then you're just like, oh man, what are you doing? Cause it was trial and error for me. Um, this, this RR is put together a little bit different. It's a lot of stuff on here that, um, you know, it looks kind of simple to take apart. And then you're like this, yeah, that was dumb how it was put together. But hopefully once I get it put back together, it'll stay together and not come back apart. So. We're gonna see about that. Now, in, in order to get this actual, um, this actual uh, air filter in here, I'm gonna have to undo the gas tank. And 
those, what I wanna say, eight millimeter? Eight millimeter bolts here. I'll lift this up, undo the screws, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you all how that works. But I absolutely did not have to take off the mirrors. Um, I'm just in here, I got into, okay, well, I'm gonna get it off one way or another, but let me show you this. I do have you here. <clears throat> there is, Okay, right here, it's an eight millimeter bolt that goes here and an eight millimeter bolt that goes up in here and it attaches the, the, the outer fairing, um, the, the top fairing to the lower fairing. So you have to disassemble all that, take this tray out of here um, and all that good stuff. But the headlight assembly and the, and the ram air uh, tube does not have to come out. Um, but yeah, as you can see those right there, they actually, it slides into those pins right here. And you know, it's, it's a bolt behind that. You can leave your, all this in here and it's gonna look pretty straightforward on um, me getting to those, those bolts up in there without me having to drop the radiator. But I think I may just loosen some stuff up just to, just to be on the safe side and just do it correctly. So. You gotta love those titanium headers. Um, it actually looks damn good, but it's gotta go. So let me get it off of here and then stick to it. Okay, so like I said, only reason why I didn't film me taking this actually apart was for the simple fact that I've never taken one apart before. So. I just needed to see what I had going on first and then go from there. So, let's see. Oh, that looks pretty good. None of those bolts are, were stripped. They weren't super tight, but I guess um, I, I'll, I'll look up the torque specs once I get everything started on here and then I'll, I'll torque them back down. Um, now, when you do decide you wanna take on a job like this, <clears throat> you have to loosen the radiator, um, the, the oil cooler. So once you drop the oil cooler, you are gonna wanna take off all the brackets, but you're gonna wanna take the brackets off of the actual oil cooler first. Reason being, if you don't and you leave them attached to the motor, What's going to happen is they're going to work itself up and down because you don't you got enough space not to, to have to disassemble and take the radiator off, but you're not going to want to run lines into that radiator because of your oil cooler rubbing up and down on it. So I, you know, trial and error. I advise you to to take um, the the actual the 10 millimeter bolts off of the the oil cooler first, and then you can finagle. Um, a 10 millimeter out on the side and unplug the actual horn. I may not put it back in. Um, I never use it anyways, but we shall see. Maybe that might save me some weight. Hmm. No, but long story short, it's got red Loctite on here and down here at the bottom, you have another bracket right here and it had blue Loctite on it. And it was a, um, it was an Allen, the Allen um, uh, wrench you needed, and it's a six millimeter. So I really had to dig into the toolbox because it wanted to hit the motor, and then some of my my um, actual six millimeters wouldn't get in and clear the motor because it was a tad bit too wide. So what I had to do was I had to finagle some stuff and move around some stuff in order to um, actually get it to break. And this is what I came up with. Had to take a six and it wanted to try to strip, but I've got another bolt this size. I'm not gonna put this back in there, but I, I, I really, it started to strip because my other six, um, it wouldn't 
seat all the way in it and it'll start spinning. And because I couldn't get the neck past the dead gum motor. So long story short, please invest in some tools. I'm glad I had that there. Um, I did spray a little WD-40 on there and um, I don't think that helped. I had to put some some real deal manpower behind that one to get that one out. So just be careful because if I had to strip that out, I'd been waiting till tomorrow because I would have took and I would have probably, no, this is gonna be it. And see it sits underneath the motor just like that. So if I had a, been able to actually pull it, push it down, um, because of the oil coolers being in the way, I couldn't push it up. But if I had been able to, to push it down without this neck being on here, I could have actually cracked it just enough to where I could have loosened it then. But yeah, that blue Loctite wasn't giving up. And um, I would have cut it off and ordered another one. But long story short, this is the factory titanium header that, that I took off. And man, this thing is beautiful. It's actually pretty light but just probably this header alone um, is probably anywhere from like six pounds or something. Um, I know it's a couple videos out there where these guys are actually weighing these things up. Well, I left my scale at one of the shops and I just decided I want to go ahead and shoot this video because my brand new bike sits inside this garage and I have no time to work on it. So. I just made time to do little odds and ends and I felt like working on it. And when I feel like doing something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna finish it, so. Let's see what else. So let me go ahead and put the header on and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. Hey, now I do have a stage two 
coming for um, this Ducati V4S, you gotta stay tuned because I'm so excited. This worked out so good. Now I get my handheld um, in sometime this week and we're gonna go ahead and take the up maps off. We're gonna put it back factory. And then I will install the brand tune stage two. You gotta stay tuned. I'm gonna put this thing back together. We're gonna do a little riding. I'm gonna let you know the odds and ends, the ins and outs, pros and cons, everything. But right now this bike right here has fogged up my daggone garage because it was the initial startup. I'm so excited. Let me put it back together. Let's ride.